Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be using the flow troll that I can get here in the UK. And I'm using these gorgeous colours by Pebio. They're metallics and I'm also using a bluish green. Now the technique that I'm doing today is an open cup. But it's going to be a travelling open cup. I'm using a 20 by 20 inch canvas. I've painted the edges black. I'm going to use these cookie cutters. I think I'm going to use the bigger one. Um, and I'm going to use Mars Black as my base coat. So let's see what we can create. Now what I do find when I'm doing my base coat, I always say if you get your base coat right, then that's the key to the success. So I'm just making sure that I've got a very, very consistent layer on the canvas. And I have a little look and I see where the puddles of paint are and I just spread that out by tilting the canvas right at the beginning. Because if I've got a level playing field, then it means that I can create um, a, a, a piece that I'm confident it's going to turn out okay. So I always say if you get your base coat right, then that that's one of the biggest biggest hurdles. That's what I've learned anyway. Okay, so you'll have to excuse the re the reflection. You can see me in the black, so um, just ignore me. <laughs> I'm putting a puddle of paint just there. That's where I'm going to put my cookie cutter. And then I'm going to layer the paints within that cookie cutter. I'm really excited for this one because I love metallic colours and I love that bluish green um, Pebio um, tone. So I'm really hoping to create a really nice piece but just by using four different tones so that's the gold that's gone in followed by the silver and then I think we go for the copper so I'm just layering these in this open cup and then the bluish green um, what I'm really hoping with this colour is that it's going to pop and it's going to pop through that black base and all those other metallic colours. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the cup and as I move it I just lift it very gently and you'll see all that paint coming through the bottom onto the canvas. <gasps> Look at those cells that are coming up. I will just say there's no cell activator. So this is just from using the paints and the flow troll. I did add just a tiny bit of water to the paints and the flow troll just to get a bit more fluidity. And that's what helps create these cells that you see here now. It's that combination. And when I, you know, I don't normally use flow troll, but when I do, because I, I, I kind of um, 
I basically have my pouring medium from an artist here in the UK so I don't really know the ingredients of that but when I'm when I'm using flow troll I just do add that little bit of water oh I'm really excited now for this next <laughs> this next part um, just gonna put a little bit more black down to help that flow okay Here we go. So again, you're just traveling it along the canvas, lifting it up very, very slightly, and you see those colors burst through. Now that bluish green, that's the reaction that I wanted. I wanted it to pop, but it's also creating some of those cells. I'm gonna take you in for a closer look in a minute, but um, I'm really, really happy with how this is going. And I really need to think now about how I'm gonna stretch this out. So I didn't want to cover the canvas completely um, using the, the travelling cup because I know that I needed to leave some negative space to be able to stretch that design out across the canvas. So I think I'm going to just do one more and kind of bring it round into like a, um, like a C shape, the letter C shape. And this is what it's about. I, I love having fun and I love kind of experimenting. But when I, before I um, go ahead with a painting, I almost kind of like draft out what kind of composition that I'm looking for, what kind of um, layout that I'm looking for as well. You know, you, you often see me just standing back, just taking a, an overview of what the, the fuller piece looks like. Because I think it's really important. Well, it's important for me that when I'm, doing a creation I think about that composition and that perspective before actually putting paint to canvas these cells around here <gasps> I'm going to take you in in a minute to have a look but yeah so that's my advice and that's kind of that's kind of what I follow when I'm doing my creations okay so again just lightly lifting it up and dragging it and then I think I'll take this off the edge. And then I'm going to have to look about how I'm going to tilt it. Because there will be puddles of paint. But I'm going to take you in for a, for a closer look. Just so you can see what I can see as well. Um, just move that off now. <laughs> Here we go. Look at this. Obviously, I'm going to stretch it out and I'm going to change the the way this design looks. But some of those cells are just gorgeous. And part of me just wishes I could just leave it like this. <laughs> Can I just leave this design here? Is that good enough? No, I, I do need to stretch it out. But some of the cells and some of that kind of lacing that you see is easily achieved with the right consistency of paint and pouring medium. Um ensure that it's fluid you don't always have to use a cell activator to create these kind of cells okay so that's torched i was torching just to get rid of those air bubbles that i could see and just to see if i could create any further cells by using the heat from that torch. So it's tilting time. So what I'm doing is I'm just having a look at where the heaviest part of the canvas is, which is where the main part of the paint is. And I'm tilting it just to kind of get a feeling of, of what I need to do basically, what my next steps are. You know, where are those puddles of paint that I want to really get rid of? Maybe look at the design overall. I'd really like to keep some of that gold and copper that you see nearest to you. I love that blue. Uh, I think I'm going to take where I am now, that corner, completely off the edge and then stretch it out from there. So that's what I do is I, I just have a, a, a bit of a feel for the canvas and see where they, those paint puddles are. And then I look at the, the wider picture just to see what kind of composition and perspective that I'd like to now achieve from this design. 
as I said, I love these cells. You don't always have to have cells, you know, some people aren't fan of cells and that's and that's fine. But with this piece, I just love those cells that I've created. So I want to try and keep as many of them as possible. Um, I also want to try and keep some of that blue green um, tone throughout because I think that really helps that piece really pop. And yeah, so I'll leave it there and I'm gonna tilt and I hope you enjoy this music. Okay, so time for wet version close up. Oh, guys, I, I love those four colours that I've chosen to work with with this creation. Um, I'd love to know what you think. Are you enjoying this colour palette? What other colours do you think I should do with this method and technique? I'd really love to hear from you and get your ideas on what you'd like to see as well. I did a poll recently and I asked people what they really wanted to see and what was important to them in videos and colour palette was actually one of the top answers. It wasn't um, always about the technique or the person that was doing it but what you were interested in was the colour palette. So if that's the case then in the comments below just drop me some, drop me some um, ideas down what you'd like to see and if that's not the case give me some feedback and let me know what else you'd like to see in my videos or how I can make a video that's worthwhile for you. So I'm going to show you some close-ups. I'll show you the dried version um, and I really hope you like it. This is one of my favourite pieces and I love, I think it's because I've got those three metallic colours, you know, the, the gold, the, the silver and the copper. And there's that blue-green colour that just pops all the way through. And I think for me it was important to leave just a little bit of negative black uh, space on the canvas just to show that overall design. So here we go, here's the dried version and the close up. I'm really, really proud on how vibrant this piece stays. It's um, gonna have a coat of gloss varnish on top. So it's gonna be even uh, more prominent and shiny. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this uh, traveling open cup. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this with me too. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for all of your support all of your comments, all of your feedback. It really, really does mean a lot to me. So thanks for being here and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.